Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a quick look of my Ernie Ball Music Man Saber in Gator Burst. So I've owned many Ernie Ball Music Man guitars over the years. I still own several, in fact, and uh, my Majesty BFR there is one of my most used guitars. Uh, the opportunity came up for me to get this Sabre at a really fantastic price. Um, and Gator Burst wouldn't have been my first choice for color, uh, but there were a few things that led to me having this, and they were one, well, the fantastic price. Um, let's let's be honest. If you can get a super super good price on a guitar, uh, it can help you you know overlook some some things maybe like the color or something like that. Number two, I wanted the ebony fretboard. Um, this the saber comes with, you know, you can get an ebony board on on some colors. You can get a rosewood board and you can get a flame maple board. Like I said, I wanted the ebony board and um, it, that comes on the Gator Burst color. The third thing was the weight. I like lightweight guitars. Um, most Ernie Ball guitars are usually pretty good weight. Um, rarely are they really, really heavy. This one's nice and light. It's seven pounds, six ounces. So it's a really lightweight guitar. And, and like I said, I definitely like lightweight guitars. And number four, uh, the playability and the sound. Uh, and this guitar does not disappoint in either one of those categories. The Sabre has an Akume body uh, finished in a really dark, transparent green, and, and that's capped with a nice, thick, half-inch flame maple top that, as you can see, is finished in the Gator Burst color. The neck is a really nice piece of roasted flame maple, um, and like you know, like most you know Ernie Ball Music Man guitars, it's fairly thin. Uh, it's got a 43 millimeter nut with. Uh, it's got a compensated nut, um, like you know most of their guitars, uh, and as you would expect, it's you know crafted and slotted you know perfectly. Uh, like I said, the fretboard is the ebony, and it's got 22 stainless steel frets, and also, as you would expect, the fret job on this guitar is just fantastic. Looking at the headstock, the guitar, it's got the normal 4 or 2 you know, Ernie Ball Music Man design, which is a great design. It keeps the string path you know, nice and straight. Uh, and it, it comes with, like all their guitars, comes with a really nice set of shallower locking tuners. Um, you know, regular viewers of my channel will know that my locking tuner of preference is the Graphtech Ratio locking tuners. But really, these tuners are fantastic. There's no reason to replace them. <laughs>
moving down to the electronics, uh, there, you know, it's a dual humbucker guitar, as you can tell. Uh, in the bridge position, we've got an Alnico 5 magnet humbucker. In the neck position, it's a ceramic 6 magnet humbucker, which is interesting. It's got a five-way switch and a master volume and a master tone. With the five-way switch down here, you get the bridge. Uh, in position two, you get the outside coils of the humbuckers. In the middle position, you get both humbuckers. Position four, you get the inside coils of the humbuckers. And then in position five, obviously, it's the neck humbucker. And, and these humbuckers sound really, really good. Um, I really like them. And, you know, as you would expect, the, you know, all the wiring and the components of the electronics are all top notch. And finally, the bridge is the superb uh, Ernie Ball Music Man Black Steel Tremolo Bridge. Uh, it does have, you know, vintage looking um, saddles, which normally uh, I'm not a, you know, a huge fan of vintage type saddles because they usually, that usually means that the screws, you know, the height adjustment screws are kind of sharp, but happy to report on this guitar, they're, you know, they're nice and smooth. So, you know, nothing to worry about there. Uh, I've got two springs in my setup and it, it's a really nice acting tremolo. Uh, you know, stays in tune really well. I really like this tremolo. <laughs> So we'll do some tone samples for you. Of course, that means we're going to use the same riff that we always do among some others.
So as you would expect from an Ernie Ball Music Man you know, guitar, this is a fantastic example you know, of a modern day instrument. Um, it's built impeccably. Uh, you know, all the woods, all the components and everything are just top shelf. Uh, and it's, it's really a fantastic guitar. It, very easy to play. I think it sounds great. Um, you know, I, I recently recorded an entire track using only this guitar. And not at, at one time did I think about the guitar. You know what I mean? And that's what you want. You want a guitar that just lets you play, you know, gets out of your way and just, you know, just lets you play. You don't have to think about the guitar. And, you know, that's that's what this guitar does. Um, just a fantastic guitar. So that'll do it for our quick look of my Ernie Ball Music Man Sabre guitar. An excellent guitar. I want to thank you guys for checking it out with me. We'll see you next time.